Yo, it's gonna hear a clash call. Welcome back! <laughs> to a brand new Hero Clash Intel video! Yes! Breaking news, they're gonna be upgrading, or I should say, downgrading Edric. And yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. I guess their priorities in Hero Clash is Edric and not new game modes and not marketing. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, 2025 is going to be extremely fun. That's all I can say. But with that being said, let's deep dive into the brand new event. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, become elite. Yes, I have a brand new Mythic Plus. You know, I'm gonna start doing brand new Mythic Plus Elite pop-ups every single Sunday. So every single Sunday night is something different, something new. Same with the Majestic as well. Stay tuned for that. I cannot wait! Yes! Woo, man, with that being said, let's deep dive into Esper Badge Event and Wishing Room. First things first, scroll to the far right. We have Hero Rebirth, Elandra, and good old, what's his name, Leo. It's in the building, absolutely atrocious. So if you exchange those, I, I don't see any real purpose of Leilandra, ex except for maybe Ancient Land out of one of the weeks, maybe. Other than that, I think she's probably one of the worst S plus heroes for offense. But I'm not saying she's terrible. I'm just saying just all the other ones are way better, you know. <laughs> she's not bad. It's just all the ones are way better. <laughs> so when it comes down to the good old Bloodstones, then I, I recommend just Alvarez get the get the duplicate and then you can scroll on over to the good old rune store Just kidding dismantling shop and then use the s plus here for burning Alvarez. Okay, too easy, right? Now heading back we have the event pack now y'all already know Yes, we purchased five of these bad boys and we're gonna be opening up in this video Yes in this video stay tuned We're gonna get through everything first and then come back to it and open it up. Hopefully we can pull 900 <laughs> <laughs> Delusional. <laughs> it would be great if we can pull 100 or 150 or maybe a 200, but I'm probably going to get like a 50, a 20, and all fives. That is the common. If anyone gets a 900, please let me know. And if you do decide to buy them and open up them, make sure you record you opening them up too. That would be absolutely phenomenal. So if anyone pulls some heat, let me know. Okay. Moving on to Esper Badge, y'all already know when it comes down to Esper Badge, the only good purchase in this event is the $25 pass Keiko Doodles. And on average, depending on you know what you pull from the chest as well, the little bonus chest, then you come over here and y'all already know 500, I pay to play going for the 2.5 thousand. And then if you're free to play, you're gonna get 252 of these Esper Badges. I just, it comes down to what you need, you know, 100 gold stones, you cannot complain about that. If you don't need gold stones, which I would think you would, everyone needs gold stones, just saying. You could squeeze out, you know, two of these bad boys. Start getting ready for Sage, get ready for Berserk to hit this very, 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 very soon. And the other 100 could be used on the good old 10 common scrolls. But anyways, going back to the pass, cake of doodles. Now moving on to a badge quest, very easy, claim daily quest, chest one, chest five, and then 10 hours of AFK rewards, very easy to do. Do your daily routine, cake of doodles, right? Moving on to the badge store, we already talked about this. Let's just look at the abyss artifacts for kicks and giggles. This definitely needs an update. <laughs> so you have devil's bone spike, absolutely atrocious, probably one of the worst abyss artifacts for offense in the game. Devil's Fangs, not bad at all. You have good old Devil's Von Brace. So moving on to the next one we have is Devil's Shield, Devil's Heart, and Devil's Lance. All absolutely phenomenal. You know, the first left one being Devil's Shield, absolutely phenomenal when it comes to Ruth Cave. Yep, Cave, I'm saying it. I don't care, it's not carved anymore, it's Cave. I'm gonna start a petition to get changed to Cave. <laughs> and then Devil's Heart, it's, it just, Probably my least favorite defensive artifact, but it's not bad because you're increasing the healing and if you have heals for days, well then you're gonna have heals for weeks, just saying, you know. And then Devil's Lance, one of my all-time favorite offensive artifacts, especially for Natalie. Honestly, I wish I cared enough to get this. I really want it. If they ever end up putting this into the Abyss artifact chest, then I would definitely cop this up and then get it to level 30. But yeah, so with that being said, everything else I think is just oof 
Moving on to the login gift. Y'all already know when it comes down to this way to the very last day to unlock this to see what you get. Or you could just do what I'm about to do and unload on these and see what you're gonna get. Then you can just do the easy math. You know, take 252 plus whatever you get from here plus the $25 pass and then go from there. And if you need, if you need less than 100, I think 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, if you need less than 100, then well, here you go, right? Cake of doodles, baby. Okay, now moving on to good old wishing room. The washing room, the rewash room. Here we go, wishing quest coming in here. Y'all already know, quest five, epic legendary. It's, it's, it's rinse and repeats. I'm preaching to the choir, I know. <laughs> moving on to the wishing sign-in, cake of doodles, too easy, event pack. We've been down this road. It sucks. I think it's garbage, and I really think they need to change this. You know, Sage has been out for what a month, almost going on two months now, and or Berserk's not even just kidding. I'm talking. I meant Berserk. It's been about a month, month, month and a half, I believe. About a month, and then Berserk isn't even in here. So, not Hero Clash. What are y'all doing, man? It's trash. Moving on to the weekly pass now. Just. Oh, it's trash, man. Yo, Hero Clash, y'all need to update this. Man, Hero Clash, just give me one event that I can just dictate what goes where. I guarantee you'll see a huge difference. Uh, we, we, what, what's coming in 2025? I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Hashtag the emails. But Wishing Room, dude, it's got to change because it's so garbage. It really is. You know, I would like to, you know, spend some money in the wishing room, but it's just not appetizing. You know, if, if I'm lactose intolerant and you're trying to sell me a gallon of milk uh, at this point, I, you, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So with that being said, at, at the just I'm 100% I'm free to play when it comes to wishing room. But when it comes to Asper badge, 100% definitely gonna be spending a couple dollars here and there. And now it is time to go on to the five buckaroos that I spent. Here we go. Where is it at? I don't even know. Let's just do that real quick. Get that out of the way. Boop, 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 boop. Garbage. And this is what I was talking about. Hopefully, maybe one day the Devil's Lance will be in here. I'm always going to save this one. I could use it on, you know, Dragon Skill, but I just, I don't have a reason to use it. Now Devil's Lance popped up. Oh, Natalie. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But anyways, so where is it at? Here we go. Okay, so oh, man. last month I was going to make a video about it, but I did not. I think I ended up getting like 100, 150. I'm pretty sure it was like a 50, a 50, a 20, 555 or something like that. It was, it was something like that in the mid hundreds. Here we go. Oh, okay. We got a 20, 20, 20, 100, and a 5. So that is a 165. I actually can't complain about that. That's actually not too bad. If that 100 would have been a 20, then I would have complained. Anything under 100, I would have complained. Like, oh, look at this crap. But getting that 100 is not too bad. So let's take a look at what it did in the Esper Badge event. It puts me at about 229 right now. Then we can unlock these bad boys. Let's go. And I'll be getting the pass probably at the very last day. Ah, we'll see. I don't know. And then I definitely need some Doom Tokens to get my Abyss Artifact to level 20. I only need, what, like a couple hundred more, I should say. Maybe 300 more. I don't, I don't know. But yeah. So with that being said, let me know if you do end up getting those little green chest thingies. And can you top 165? <laughs> with that being said, I will see y'all in the next video. Greatness manifested.